very dreary day. It's been raining almost all night. It just lightened up some in the past hour or so, but some of the rain has been really heavy. And uh, I guess, uh, I don't know about flooding, but the, the usual spots. And then, uh, not much happened otherwise, which is good. I'm glad we didn't have to uh, stand at a homicide scene or fire for the reasons that those things are terrible, but also because it'd be miserable to be doing it with the, the rain that we had last night. And it's been in the 40s, low 40s, so it's been a very cool rain. But also, um, um, as some sports team is playing some other sports team and it's a big matchup and uh, so we were doing the live shots on that all morning and um, I kind of lucked out on that I didn't have to do the really hard stuff that you know required me to be out in the rain constantly in the cold so but uh, Cafe Cafe has changed their hours. They're now opening at 8 in the mornings, according to the, the Googles. And uh, they're closing at 6 at night, which is sad for me. But, I don't know. Uh, I didn't check. I'll check to see if they're open on Tuesdays. But they, they were closing on Tuesdays. I don't know if they are still are. And uh, But that's where I'm headed right now. And uh, there's not a lot of traffic because we're getting into the holiday week of Thanksgiving. And a lot of people can have the luxury of taking the whole week off and not just today. Plus, you know, there's a big sporting match going on between a certain sports team. And so huh. a lot of people are taking off for that, too. So... Oh, well, let me tell you. Let's go get a hot drink. Hot drink. It's windy and yucky. Tea. This is where we're live. The Urban Youth Ca Academy. <laughs> doing a food drive <laughs> and all the other media are here here's a food drive for harvesters hosted by Joey Joey's barber shop <laughs> That's a pretty good cause. Oh, the weather like this. It's always good for a hot drink. Whoops. <laughs> Last night, didn't nothing happen, which is good. And uh, had two live shots. Oh, excuse me. Um, one with Daniela talking about a place that makes tamales, puts uh, immigrant women to work, giving them good jobs. And uh, then with Marlon, food drive over at the um, a youth center, urban youth complex, which is a place that teaches kids how to play baseball. Let's get the hot drink. Hot drink. Sorry about the wind. The view inside. I'm at the scene of, I believe this is Kansas City's 169th homicide. And it seems like it happens during the holidays, especially. It's pretty bad. 
one man is dead and a woman is uh, injured. She's at the emergency room, one of the area hospitals. And it's just sad. People need to reach out to uh, any kind of help this time of year, mental help for coping skills with anger and especially if uh, any kind of substances are involved. I'm not saying this is what happened here. We don't know what happened here, but yeah. Look at the plaza. It's lit up already. Must be testing the lights for to oh, not tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow night. Sneak peek. Ooh, pretty. I'm going up to KCI to talk about holiday travel for our live shots. Yay! Very pretty. Yep, I think the lights are working. Hopefully when they throw the switch it'll poof, go on. Alrighty then. Here we are, KCI. First time this new terminal has been used during the, the busy, busiest travel day of the year, which is actually not today. I think uh, the day after Thanksgiving is the busiest travel day of the year. Uh, how col colorful the garage is. Yeah, we're getting used to uh, our uh, routine here. But gone are the days when you could take a live truck, park next to the terminal, and be right in side the door there or in the front like we used to do now it's uh, you gotta go in through the garage and there's no way you can get a live truck I don't know maybe on the ends I don't even know if they allow it anymore it's a good thing with the we got the TVs uh, one handicap that's it Absolutely no parking. May have to go down the level. Today it came. Our new stove. The old one served us faithfully for as long as we had the house, but it broke last week. The uh, main element in the stove broke, literally. So we got this one. That's why we went to Nebraska last weekend. Furniture Mart, that is. Yep, our new stove. Now we're just waiting on the microwave that goes above it. Thanksgiving Day and surprise, this coffee shop is open. I'm out running errands, uh, going last minute groceries, getting prepared for later today. Suyen is working, she's on call today. 
So, before I go, I'm going to get some coffee. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, thank you too. Mocha. We got our list in. We're braving the crowds last minute. This place shuts down at one today. This is the worst off. And this is Thanksgiving Day. Oh boy. I am crazy braving last second shopping on Thanksgiving Day. <clears throat> Fortunately, beep, 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 beep. What I needed, I didn't really need. The most needful thing that came for was, uh, you know, we got the, the brand new stove with the glass cooktop and, you know, we're real worried that the kids will, right off the bat, ruin it and scratch it. And the thing said, um, don't use regular household cleaners on the top so we read the manual and it said we got to get this um stuff made for the cooktop called cleaning cream i guess so i i looked it up while i was in there never looked for anything like that before and got it and so hopefully that'll keep the kids from right off the bat ruining our brand new stovetop we want to keep it nice for a while ha 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 Hard, hard thing around kids. But then other than that, um, how am I gonna get out of here? <laughs> this parking lot's ridiculous. Um, other than that, uh, I asked my, we're gonna hopefully eat Thanksgiving dinner at my sister's and I asked her what she wanted and all she asked for was some, oops, I went the wrong way. All she asked for was some um, whipped cream in a can. Boy, I'm really boorish today. It's getting worse as I get older. I can't think of anything. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to get out of here, but then I decided I'm going to swing around and show the madness from the outside. I didn't really show it from the inside. I, I don't like to violate people's privacy too much when they're in their vulnerable moments you know like going on somebody's property and showing the inside I'm kind of nice that way years of training I guess I don't know I don't know it doesn't look too bad out here it's, it's kind of thinning out but uh, don't go out on Thanksgiving Day if you can avoid it. People are not necessarily very nice. They're, they're in their own and they're very stressed and and uh, people are kind of um, pushy. Pushy is a good word. They, they're really not thinking about you or they're just thinking about getting whatever they have to do done and getting out of here. So other than that oops other than that, traffic has been is really light, and it's not so crazy to drive around. Uh, of course, there bikes somewhere else. So, and that's where I'm going to be real soon. Woo oh, I gotta have my my coffee because you know, here's to diarrhea later. Downtown North Kansas City is all pretty. Ooh, ah. Uh. Do they have their, yeah, they have their Christmas trees. See all the Christmas trees? Yeah, on the corners. That's from the movie. Downtown North Kansas City. Mm -hmm. 
What else? Black Friday shopping. In honor of the pun war, I just got in with my reporter. It's a pun war consisting of fish puns. I don't know how we got it started. I'm using my fisheye lens. I'm going to take a picture of it and use it for the pun war. Let's see here. Let's see if I can... Okay. Look! Exclamation point. I'm using my fish eye lens. I think I'm, I'm winning the pun war. No, I'm out of here. This is the um, Oak Park Mall area, I think. We were here last year, or maybe the year before. I can't remember, it all blends together. Um, duh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm, I'm looking for the screen that I want to be on. D. KCPD active events, one of the ways we monitor beep, 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 monitor uh, what's going on so we know where all the bad stuff is happening. Not that we really want to find it, but. And yeah, <clears throat> today it was sporting goods stores, just like last time we did this. Actually, one year, I remember. I was by myself. I think that was last year, and then the year before it was here, and I don't know, I can't remember. I have to look it up. But, uh, we had Thanksgiving dinner at my sister's last night, and now we're going to have another Thanksgiving dinner today. It's not going to be good for my girlish figure. Let's see if we can get out of here. It's very, very cold, but this, the sunrise is very pretty. And uh, speaking of cold, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Woohoo! I'm sure my niece, who's straight from the Philippines, will be very happy about that for about an hour. <laughs> and then the the novelty of it will wear off very, very quickly. I'm not sure if it's going to snow down in southern Missouri where she is, but anyway, let's put our stuff up and go home. We are preparing our own Thanksgiving dinner. Fancy. We got the deviled eggs. <laughs> Macaroni, beans, pants it. And what's this? Uh, sweet potato. Sweet potato. And then, of course, turkey that we can actually finish. Finally, we're carving. Are we going to brag about our knife again? Yeah. Don't you dare. Ants the end sword. My sword. I love this. Her sword. I love this sword. One, two, three. One, two, three. Luke, no goofy faces. One, two, three, turkey. The second one is for you. Turkey. Zach is being our photologist. One, two, three. Turkey. All right. <laughs> no, Jimmy. Say, Don't say Jimmy. Don't I'm right. Two, three. Turkey. One, two, three. Turkey. Okay. The problem with turkey breasts is that it's kind of 
It's not as oily and juicy as this. But it's in Turkey. Let's not forget the ham. Turkey. We have received for this year and for the past years. Alexa, stop. We thank you for all the grace, the good things we receive in our life. We are very fortunate and lucky that we can have these things and blessings, our love with each other for each other our love for our pets our job that provides us with our needs for our lives in our lives and give us the grace to appreciate everything that we have. I would like to thank for all the heart, the challenges that we've gone through, that we made it, even though we're struggling with our emotions, we are making it and we are surviving through it. Keep us. We pray that we want to continue to work hard and stay focused and to remember to be very gracious, respectful, be kind, be humble. towards everything that we have in our lives. Thank you. What are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for the love and help I've gotten, gotten from the people around me. That's sweet. For my family. Family accomplished me. Same. What same? For my family. Family. You're thankful for your family? Yeah. Ryan, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for uh, getting my fifth grade today and this loving, very loving family. Okay. And you're going to thank for all of that mm -hmm. that we have. And we had. And bless this food, O oh Lord, at which we are about to partake. In your name, Amen. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. This is a continuation of a roofing job. The roof leaked and caused the spackle to fall. So they're patching the spackle on our ceiling. Mm. This is a different crew than, than the people who did the roofing. These are a subcontractor. So, it won't be perfect, but it's better than the sky falling in on us. setting up for Christmas and we rearranged our house it's much more livable now I think right Spella is it more livable yeah. plus we got our ceiling patched it's not perfect but it'll do I guess we'll have to repaint it
was going to go to the place we usually go every year for uh, Shop Small, but um, they were closed already. I guess I should have looked at the time. So I'm going to get a hot drink instead. Yeah, it's nice and cold. about this place. Now, get the snow coming down. So peaceful. Get to the car without falling in my butt. Enjoy the snow. It's very pretty, very peaceful. Good for a hot drink. Oh, I'm coming down with uh, the sniffles, unfortunately. It's also, uh, what do they call it, rhinovirus season. up for it. It can be pretty downright miserable. It's one of those uh, extra tall trucks with uh, the bright lights we all love. Lowe's Kitchen, new Chinese restaurant. Christmassy now. My camera is deciding to go somewhere. I don't know where. Go for a ride. Oh, uplift. They've got a, a sprinter van. I think they're out giving out things to help homeless people keep warm. catch up with them on the overnights during the week while they're doing stuff. Get some video, tell their story. I'd like to get some good overnight stories going. For the most part, when I work overnights, it's just, just me and first responders. I guess that if I could get first responder stories, that would be nice too. Oh, this ramp is coated. This bridge is coated.
making it sleazy, even though I have all-wheel drive in this van. I don't want to test it. Get on this bridge and start slipping around. Got a pick-em-up truck, you know, with the tall, bright headlights passing me on the left here. Quite often, vehicles like that uh, encourage overconfidence. I know a lot of times people aren't even engaged in four-wheel drive. You know, and they drive really fast all the time. Usually the, the vehicles that I see in the ditches for the most part are those. The majority of them are causing bad wrecks. The safety features only work if you engage them and then you uh, drive cautiously. Lecture, lecture, lecture. travel season we're in. So anyway, let's get some uh, less expensive gas. Snow. Snow. 
Doggies keeping warm after their walk. Life in the kitchen. And the new stove. The sunroom. And the backyard. I'm feeling peaked today. So before I do anything else, coffee, avocado. The kiddos have steamers. And they're playing chess, somewhat. Let's look around this place. I'm going to make a second attempt at this. Oh, it's open. Woohoo! What's this? Our favorite store. A stuff. Oh, stuff. Let's go. Brookside. Are they still open? Yep, they're open. Woohoo! So what are we doing? Last but not least, groceries. We are decorating for Christmas. Woohoo! And I'm drinking a great book. Watch this. Watch what? You about to knock over the tree, Saya? Ah, oh, the star is crooked. That, yeah, that oh, yeah. You're, are, what, are you imitating a Christmas story, Luke? That's it for this week.